Dylan Sprouse quits Hollywood for this. An American actor by the name of Dylan Thomas Sprouse for his portrayal of Zack Martin in the Disney Channel comedy The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and its spin-off The Sweet Life on Deck is best known. He and Cole Sprouse are twin brothers. The all-wise meadery in Brooklyn, New York is owned by him. In the past, there were rumblings that actor Dylan Sprouse was leaving Hollywood. We'll reveal the truth about that act in today's video. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we will explain why Dylan Sprouse quit Hollywood. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's start our video. Dylan and Cole Sprouse often worked together. They arrived in Hollywood when they were just a few months old, and they were immediately compared to the Olsen twins, and with good reason. Both sets of genetically fortunate siblings cultivated spotless appearances, won over viewers with feel-good, family-friendly performances, and for years reigned supreme in the realm of teenage television. Cole and Dylan Sprouse went on to lead unexpectedly well-adjusted lives, attending New York University and pursuing passions other than performing, in contrast to numerous child stars who either suffered public meltdowns or slid entirely off the radar. Cole was cast as the primary character Jughead Jones in the critically acclaimed television series Riverdale, which debuted on The CW in 2017, while Dylan was cast in the part of Trevor in the upcoming film After We Collided. Is Dylan Sprouse no longer an actor? If you can believe it, it's been more than 10 years since Dylan was cast in a significant role in a film or television show. In 2021, he had a starring role in the film Tiger Tiger. In addition to this, following the conclusion of Sweet Life, Dylan enrolled at New York University to pursue a degree in video game creation. But after receiving his diploma, he embarked on a different course of action. It turns out that Dylan was particularly skilled in producing mead. Dylan decided to launch his own meadery and make his recipe available to people worldwide after gaining valuable experience working for a short time at the Kings County Distillery in Brooklyn. In 2018, All Wise Meadery launched its operations in New York City. Disney has rejected a spin-off proposal from Cole and Dylan Sprouse. Cole and Dylan Sprouse reportedly quit Disney when the network attempted to steal their idea for a spin-off program and then refused them producer credits on the new show. The performers suggested that their characters, Zack and Cody, would move back in with their single mother at the Tipton Hotel in Boston when the show resumed production. The twins are allowed to guide a younger male character when he moves in with his single father and into the hotel. It turns out to be the plot twist. Dylan noted in the video for Salon that when we offered our idea, it was like a moment where they practically laughed in our faces. However, when a year passed, the situation was completely reversed. According to the actor, Disney got back to them with the idea that was virtually the same as their initial pitch, which was that the twins would relocate to Miami, work at a hotel, and meet a younger male who would become their prodigy. Dylan added that he and Cole turned to each other and laughed in their faces before walking out, adding that they were stunned to find that they wouldn't get producer credits. Dylan realized that it was the final meeting we had with Disney. Even though the twin had a relationship with the channel that spanned many years, the twins' participating note came off as extremely extremely cold. Neither Cole nor Dylan Sprouse has a problem with Disney. Cole and Dylan Sprouse are not resentful towards the network, even though their time with Disney came to a conclusion that was less than ideal, even though many of their contemporaries appear to be. Joe Jonas was very critical of Disney and made several references to the company's treatment of other celebrities, such as Vanessa Hudgens, who was allegedly detained in Disney offices for a day following the nude photo scandal that occurred in 2007. Having been a part of the Disney thing for such a long time will make you not want to be this perfect little puppet forever. Jonas mentioned that the control the company exerted over its stars only makes them want to break free that much more. He explained that it was because being a part of Disney for so long would make you not want to be that perfect little puppet forever. Dylan spoke forward to defend Disney against Jonah's criticism as all this chaos unfolded. According to a post that Dylan made on Tumblr in December 2013 that has since been removed, he stated that it is terrible they were being deprived of choice or originality. They could say no to Disney if they choose to do so. In the hundreds of times that Cole and he did that, they never ran into problems. They didn't do it because, like many other people on that channel, he believed the temptation of celebrity swayed them. That's the only reason they didn't. If nothing else, the channel taught Dylan and Cole Sprout to say no, yet they anticipate hearing a great deal more from them in the coming years. It's not that he gave up acting altogether, rather he's just grown pickier about the roles he accepts in films and television shows. He focuses almost exclusively on short films and independent films. Well that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this one was. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more interesting celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.